Hello and welcome. So I'm traveling around Poland in my motorhome and I'm about to do some cooking and what I'm going to do here are these things. These are pierogi or as they say in the United States pierogi and now uh, Polish pierogi and Russian pierogi uh, are completely different things. Uh, pierogi in, I don't say pierogi, but I don't like to say pierogi, that sounds odd to me. Pierogi in Russia are what we would term a pie, I think, whereas in Poland they're sort of this shape. Now, um, in Poland they come in uh, various uh, traditional type flavours. They are, for example, with uh, potato, with cheese, with meat, or with mushroom and cabbage. However, in the latter case, they normally put a stack of cabbage in, so there's no room for the mush. Now, uh, these ones here are red. Why are they red? Well, this is somebody's idea of nouvelle cuisine, or something like that, and these ones are beetroot. Uh, now, that, this is the first time I've ever eaten them. Uh, this is not in the slightest bit uh, traditional, so um, it's something completely new uh, for me. Now, uh, I mentioned about Russia a bit earlier. Now, in um, a few years ago, I went into a place in uh, Moscow and it said uh, uh, pierogi place, pierogania. And so I went in and the lady, I uh, said, uh, she asked me how many I wanted. And so I said, uh, well, I don't know, 12. And she said, 12, you want to eat them now? I said, yeah, of course. So 12. I mean, there's what? There's it's almost as many as there are in here. And I'll, I'll be hungry after eating this. And uh, she said, OK, as you wish. And um, pr pr proceeded to give me uh, 12, which one was bigger than all of these uh, combined. Um, after about the sixth one, I conceded defeat and that I couldn't uh, eat it. Now, uh, just a little uh, word on my diet. Normally, I don't eat pre-packaged food at all. I make everything myself. I can't make these myself because I don't really know how to. Uh, a few years ago, I had a partner and her mother would actually make it them from scratch. And so, uh, what you've got, you've got the... Uh, the, the wheat um, bit on the outside, the dough, and inside you've got the filling. Sounds easy to make, maybe it is, but seeing her do them, I remember it used to take her about three hours to do it. So that's quite a long time. Go to the shops, you buy something like this. This thing here cost, a, I can't even remember now, two euros, two fifty, maybe it was two fifty. But anyway, it was something along those lines. I can't, maybe it was even three, I can't remember. Right, let's see how well they cook. Oh, before I said, how would you normally cook? Well, normally people cook them in water, put them into boiling water. And boil them. I personally prefer uh, to fry them. My favorite way is actually baked peer up, but that's, uh, that's a bit odd. So we're gonna actually fry them today. So the first one's now cooked, out the pan, what does it taste like? Now, when you do something like this, obviously you want to get the oil pretty hot to start off with, and um, then they'll cook better. Then I do everything on a low heat, just about everything on a low heat. Well, I think this, using beetroot, is an excellent new idea on an old theme because they, it, it tastes like pierogi but it's given a completely new flavor uh, to it um, but absolutely very very good so um, the company that does this say the vegan pierogi and uh, so I shall be getting these again in the future although uh, eating um, uh, wheat, as a rule, is not something I do. As a rule, as a rule. I mean, I sometimes eat bread, but um, I don't, I tend not to. So it won't be a common thing on my diet, but I'll be getting it from time to time. Now, uh, this is the first time I've tried it. I haven't put anything uh, else with it. For example, I might put butter, you might put sour cream. Uh, one, one of my dishes I used to do quite often would be to give it an, um, a Mexican twist. So I'd, I'd do the pierogi with uh, jalapeno and uh, lots of sour cream and lots and lots and lots of onions. So I, had, I could get this uh, mix of very hot and the, the, the cream took it down a bit 
So that was um, one of my favourite things, which I haven't done for a while. So maybe I'll give that a go. Thanks for watching. I shall bring one or two of my very simple uh, cooking thing. Oh, really, it's not really me cooking. It's me doing um, a, a review of stuff that I've bought, uh, which I bought probably for my Lidl or Tesco. Thanks for watching.